Hello Universe Explorers, welcome back to Mission Universe. In today's exploration, we are delving into the groundbreaking work of Dr. Avi Loeb, a renowned Harvard astronomer. You expect any material to melt under these circumstances and the droplets of melted material fell to the ocean floor and they laid there uh, for almost a decade until we went there with a ship that was fittingly called Silver Star. Dr. Loeb has been stirring up the scientific community with his intriguing research. He's been investigating a unique meteor event from 2014 and his findings are nothing short of extraordinary. This isn't your typical meteor. It showed signs of being artificial, suggesting it might be a piece of alien technology. So let's dive into his fascinating research and see what secrets of the universe we can uncover from our own planet's oceans. In 2014, a meteor event near Papua New Guinea caught the attention of scientists worldwide. But it was Dr. Avi Loeb's investigation that truly set the scientific community abuzz. This wasn't just any meteor. It was moving at a speed that was too fast to be bound by the sun's gravity, a characteristic that is highly unusual for meteors originating within our solar system. But the peculiarities didn't stop there. The meteor also exhibited a material strength that was tougher than iron, further adding to the mystery. These unusual characteristics led Dr. Loeb to a startling hypothesis. Could this meteor be artificial, a piece of alien technology perhaps? This hypothesis has set the stage for a thrilling exploration into the possibility of extraterrestrial life and interstellar objects in our own backyard. As we delve deeper into Dr. Loeb's research, we find ourselves on the cusp of potentially groundbreaking discoveries about our universe. The 2014 meteor that landed near Papua New Guinea was no ordinary space rock. Its extraordinary speed, too high to be held by the sun's gravity, hinted at its possible interstellar origin this is a rarity, as objects within our solar system typically don't exhibit such high speeds. But it wasn't just the speed that was unusual. The meteor's material strength was tougher than iron, a characteristic not common to most meteors, which are usually composed of rock or iron. This exceptional durability suggests it could be made of an uncommon alloy or material. These distinct characteristics led Dr. Avi Loeb to propose an intriguing idea. Could this meteor be a piece of technology from an extraterrestrial civilization? While this remains a hypothesis, it opens up thrilling possibilities about life beyond our planet and the existence of interstellar objects in our oceans. Following the 2014 meteor event, Dr. Avi Loeb and his team embarked on a mission to locate fragments in the Pacific Ocean. The meteor was thought to have landed about 50 miles off the coast of Papua New Guinea, turning this expansive body of water into a primary investigation zone. The undertaking was complex. The ocean's depths and the meteor's high-speed impact could have dispersed any remnants over a broad region. Yet, the team remained undeterred in their pursuit of potential meteor pieces. Armed with advanced technology and research vessels, they meticulously combed the ocean floor. Their objective was to find fragments that could lend further credence to the theory of the meteor's artificial origin and offer more insights into its cosmic journey. This expedition in the Pacific Ocean underscores the commitment of scientists in their quest to unravel the enigmas of the universe and the potential existence of life beyond Earth. The endeavor of finding meteor fragments in the expansive Pacific Ocean was fraught with difficulties. The vastness and depth of the ocean made the search incredibly daunting. The Pacific Ocean, being the largest and deepest of Earth's oceanic divisions, presented a monumental search area. The high-speed impact of the meteor could have dispersed fragments over a wide region, adding to the complexity of the task. Moreover, the potential fragments were likely to be small and hard to differentiate from regular ocean debris. Additionally, the ocean's currents and movements could have relocated the fragments from their initial landing site, further complicating the search. Despite these hurdles, Dr. Loeb and his team persevered in their mission, showcasing the determination of scientists in their pursuit to unravel cosmic mysteries. In their quest for meteor fragments, Dr. Avi Loeb and his team employed a research vessel named the Silver Star. This ship was outfitted with an array of cutting-edge tools and technology to aid in the detection and analysis of potential meteor remnants. 
A key tool was a sled equipped with magnets. Designed to traverse the ocean floor, this sled collected magnetic particles that could be fragments of the meteor. Given the meteor's suspected composition, this magnetic collection method proved to be an efficient way to gather potential pieces. Furthermore, the team utilized advanced sonar technology to chart the ocean floor. This helped pinpoint areas where fragments were likely to be located based on the meteor's trajectory and impact site. The deployment of the Silver Star and its high-tech equipment was pivotal in the team's systematic exploration of a vast area of the Pacific Ocean, enhancing their chances of finding evidence to substantiate their hypothesis about the meteor's origins. In their exploration of the Pacific Ocean, Dr. Avi Loeb and his team stumbled upon a significant find, spherules. These tiny spherical metal objects marked a crucial breakthrough in the investigation. What made the spherules intriguing was their unique composition. They differed from metals commonly used on Earth and those typically identified in asteroids. This distinct composition hinted at a possible origin from an entirely different environment, potentially even an artificial one. The unearthing of these spherules offered a potential connection to the 2014 meteor event and lent credence to the theory that the meteor could have been an artificial, interstellar object. This find opened up new research pathways and brought the team a step closer to deciphering cosmic mysteries. The spherules discovered by Dr. Avi Loeb and his team were distinct not only in their shape, but also in their composition. They were composed of a metal that differed from those typically used on Earth or found in asteroids. This unique composition hinted at a possible extraterrestrial origin for the spherules. The fact that they didn't match either Earth metals or asteroid metals suggested they could have come from an entirely different environment. Moreover, the perfect spherical shape and the distinct composition of the spherules raised the possibility of an artificial origin. This led to the theory that these spherules could be remnants of an artificial interstellar object, potentially a piece of alien technology. While this remains a theory, the unearthing of the spherules and their unique composition has opened up thrilling possibilities about the existence of extraterrestrial life and interstellar objects in our oceans. Speculation has long existed about a potential connection between large bodies of water, such as oceans and UFO sightings. Numerous UFO reports have come from areas near or over water, leading to theories that these water bodies might serve as bases or resources for extraterrestrial entities. The research conducted by Dr. Avilob, particularly the investigation of the 2014 meteor event and the discovery of spherules in the Pacific Ocean, adds intrigue to these theories. If these spherules are remnants of an artificial interstellar object, it implies that such objects could end up in our oceans potentially accounting for some UFO sightings. Moreover, if life beyond Earth exists and possesses the capability for interstellar travel, Earth's oceans could be of interest due to their abundance of water, a crucial resource for life as we understand it. While these ideas remain in the realm of speculation and require further research, the potential correlation between large bodies of water and UFO sightings continues to captivate those interested in ufology and astrobiology. Dr. Avi Loeb's analysis of these findings is intriguing. He suggests that the 2014 meteor, based on its unusually high speed and toughness, could have come from outside our solar system, making it an interstellar object. The meteor's material, tougher than any space rocks identified by NASA in the past decade, prompted Dr. Loeb to launch the expedition in the Pacific Ocean to search for any remaining fragments. The team's discovery of spherules during their search added another layer of mystery. These spherules, with their unique composition, distinct from Earth's metals and typical asteroid materials, led Dr. Loeb to theorize that they could be remnants of an artificial interstellar object, possibly a piece of alien technology. While this is still a theory, Dr. Loeb's interpretation of these findings has opened up new avenues of research into the potential existence of extraterrestrial life and interstellar objects in our oceans. That's a wrap mission, Universe Explorers. We've dived into the depths of the Pacific, following a mysterious meteor and Dr. Avi Loeb's intriguing research. But what do you think? Could these ferules be alien technology? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries. 
Until next time, keep exploring.